In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to use scripting elements in HTML. The script element usually points to external scripts using the source attribute, or it can contain different scripting statements within the tag. Over here, we will use the script tag to define JavaScript here, which will be used for the dynamic changes in the content needed to create a simple counter in this page. For that, move to the head tag and let's enter the script tag. For that, enter the angle bracket and type script space type space inverted comma open text forward slash JavaScript inverted comma close angle bracket. Now we define a function. Let's give it the name init. Now open the parentheses for the function and declare a variable, which in this case is n. With that done, let's assign it the value 0. This 0 defines the starting number for the counter, and you can change it according to your requirement. We will define the span letter in the body tag and give it the ID output. Document.getElementById over here fetches the value of the particular element by the ID. Now the value of the span with the ID output will be stored in the variable e. The set interval function over here updates the element on the time given in nanoseconds. The variable e has the span element. We will assign the inner HTML value by an increment counter over here. The increment counter, which is plus plus n in this case, will increase the value of n on every interval. On loading the window, we will assign it the function name over here. With that done, let's close the script tag and move over to the body tag. Over here, let's create a heading by inserting the JavaScript recall function over here. For that, start with the heading tag, type in the heading you want to keep, open up the span tag, and give it the ID output. Now let's save the page and refresh the browser. You can see that JavaScript has started working on the page. You can also change the style of the output by adding a style function. For this purpose, go back to the source file, move over to the style tag, and let's give the ID output a makeover. Let's change the color of the text, give a background color, and add a border to the counter. Once done, save these changes and refresh the browser. You can see that the changes have been applied to the JavaScript output on the page.